Hello everyone, welcome to Japan Spirit. I am Takashi Kawatani. And my name is Han Yun. Okay, this program is about revisiting Japan Spirit in order to explore the goodness of Japanese values as they play a bigger role in, in a globalized uh, world. In our previous episode, we introduced the VUCA word, which refers to volatility, um, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity, and how Japanese people have naturally adapted to these elements. And this month, we will talk about how Japanese people utilize this VUCA approach to manage the cultural diversity. Okay, so cultural diversity, I think it's a new word to uh, many of you. Would you like to explain uh, what it is all about? Yes, and cultural diversity is cultural difference between people such as in race, age, gender, disability, geographic origin, family status, education or personality that can affect workplace relationships and achievement. Okay, speaking of cultural diversity, you're from Vietnam, right? Yes, I am. Is Vietnam basically monoculture or do you see a lot of cultural diversity? Uh, because Vietnam is comprised of uh, 54 mm. ethnic groups, that's oh, why I think we have so quite a diversity oh. in the country. Do they, can, can they communicate in, with the common language? Uh, we have official language, which oh. is Vietnamese, oh. but among my minority group, mm -hmm. uh, they all have their own like local dialect. And, and which ethnic group do you belong to? I belong to <laughs> king group, like king the group. most prominent yeah, group most prominent in the country. Group. Okay. Yes, many Vietnam people have the, the, even the same name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's cultural diversity, my viewers, and. Uh, if I'm allowed to do a bit of a marketing of my business, my company name is Diversity Management Institute. So what is it all about? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Uh, like, um, yeah. Diversity management aims to value these differences yeah. and encourage each person wow. to fulfill his or her potential in terms of organizational objectives. So my job is huge. I <laughs> encourage people to fulfill potential. That's, yes. that's a very important job. So in international business, I think uh, some of the viewers uh, not only read books about international affairs, political politics, but actually traveling overseas and do business in Japan overseas. So in international business, if you're good at university management skills, uh, you can be a good leader and uh, guide people towards the sense of purpose and uh, fulfillment in our global uh, company. So I want to show you a very revealing uh, picture, chart, about the advantages and disadvantages of having a culturally diverse team, members in your team, okay? So a culturally diverse team, not always a, the paradise. It comes with a lot of rosy thorns at yes. the same time, right? Okay, briefly, I try not to make it sound too difficult, <laughs> because it's a, our life, fact of the life in any viewer's uh, society that, that you are watching this from. Advantages and disadvantages of diverse teams, like uh, Vietnamese, Chinese, Koreans, and Taiwanese, uh, Germans, British, Japanese, those international teams yes. is, is called diverse teams. Okay. Yes. Now, advantage, plus and minus. Okay, let's look at that. Multiple uh, the advantages of having a diverse team is, of course, multiple perspective, because different people, uh, Vietnamese perspective or Kawatani perspective. Yes. This advantage, because of multi, our uh, meaning can be ambiguous. Yeah? Yes. For example, uh, as soon as possible, huh, son, please get it done. To me, a way, to me, a uh, way before the deadline, for example. Yes. <laughs> But to you, maybe... Maybe just two oh. or three days before the oh, deadline, it's no. fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's a very, very uh, butterfly in the stomach, you know? That's different concept of time. Yes. And then, and then this is a test. Okay, disadvantage is confusing, okay, confusing. Something is confusing. What is the positive side of confu confusion? I think the opposite side... Oh of confusion is that oh. we try to oh. understand each uh, other uh, better. No, 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 we, we try to, yes. And we try to bring out more creative uh, yeah. ideas. Okay, that's right. So because it's confusing, we try harder. Yes. That brings us closer. 
Yes. Yeah, that's, a, that's an irony, that's a beauty of different cultures. If you're from both Vietnamese, we, don't, we, don't, we may not argue a lot, yes. uh, question a lot, okay? So, as opposed to confusing, increase creativity. Our ideas get more creative. Now, disadvantage, again, the test for you, uh, difficult to reach consensus in a group meeting. You want to yes. do it like this, I want to do it like this. The third person go, comes in. So what is the benefit of that? I think to reach. it will help us try <laughs> to solve the problems. Oh. Because everyone has so, their own opinions. Uh, That's why we try uh -huh. to understand uh -huh. their viewpoint. And combine. And try to, yeah. yes, combine. Try to combine. So the, the, the trick is you have to be able to combine, otherwise yes. <laughs> too many cooks, yeah. what do you call it, uh, uh, too, many, uh, too many captains <laughs> yes. bring a boat to the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's increased problem solving skills. That's good for IT project member people. I think you all understand it's difficult to come to consensus, but if we can reach consensus, in the process of reaching the consensus, we are trying, we are learning the problem-solving skills. That's that's wonderful. So effectiveness good, efficiency bad. But because of the differences, we understand each other better. Like like you yes. said. So uh, now because the world is buka, a lot of confusion, ambiguous, and our business game is international business game or global business game so we need to inc we want to increase this skill while managing the negative side yeah? yes. so that's plus some minus of uh, uh, having different members in a team yes that's why i'm working with a person from outside japan i have a question no uh, japanese people are really good at the left side as you said the vuka word uh, the book is good, <laughs> but when it comes to you know, actually managing the differences in the team, uh, the, the, the road is very far to walk on. Mm. Because, you know, suppose here's a buka in Japan. Buka, yes. you know, this size of buka in Japan. Yes. This is the real challenge for us. We shouldn't believe we are too good at managing buka because size of the buka very, could be small. Yes. But if you go outside Japan, the buka in Vietnam, 54 uh, ethnic, group. ethnic groups, your buka is much bigger, wider, deeper, yes. right? In the Euro, uh, 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 Europe, US, yes. different shapes. So we, can, we have a basic knowledge exposure to buka, but in a uh, monocultural environment. I see. Monocultural buka. So yes. our challenge is we have not yet to learn how to play a global or multicultural buka. I I, that's what I think. Yeah. When I worked with uh, uh, was one of the largest oil company before, because I was invited to facilitate a diversity workshop for all the board members. It's a huge Japanese subsidiary. And then my partner from that company, she is uh, uh, that company's uh, diversity consultant. She challenged me and said, well, Japanese are good at VUCA, but in a monocultural environment, but not really uh, multicultural. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Pavel. And Natalia. Where, where are you from? Poland. Poland? Why are you guys coming here? Well, we wanted to see Japan after like, after four years with no holidays. We decided to hit it hard and uh -huh. come to the other end of the world, which is Japan, for so us. For, for myself, the like, most intense experience here in Japan was Hiroshima, actually. Uh -huh. like, yeah. We learn about the, this tragedy at, uh -huh. at, at school, yes. but like, when you see it, when you're there, it's like... What's that? I mean, you like you, you see this, uh, this A-bomb a -bomb dome, for example, or this, uh, yeah, the museum itself. Uh -huh. It's like... Yeah, it's it's you you're you're walking out speechless, wow. and like you know about that we we learn we learn about that at school, but it's nothing compared when you see it live. Okay. So so far it's a good trip for you. Yeah, yeah. it's it's amazing trip. Absolutely. So what what other than that that you think is amazing? 
Shibuya and the crowd out there, a lot of shops uh -huh. and Isn't everything is so colorful. Yeah, yeah. Hiroshima was kind of calm, I think, mm -hmm. and now it's like blowing up everything. Everything it's like uh, with the pictures, the music, mm -hmm. like in the metro subway, everything is playing music and it's so fun for us. How I'm seeing, like everyone is so kind. Like I never experienced everyone saying hello, goodbye, thank you. Yeah please, whatever, uh, they say that like all, yeah. so many times a day that I'm already like, on, I'm already it? getting used, no, I'm not sick of that, <laughs> okay. I'm already used to that, so when I will That's be back good. home, it will be like, no one's saying hello, no one's saying goodbye, no, like people in shops are, uh, 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 it's very common in our country that people are ignoring, you're like invisible for the stuff, mm -hmm. and everyone's here is very like involved, mm -hmm. like you're the customer, they want to help you, okay. they see your presence in their like vicinity cool. so like i think that's how people japanese people are just grown like if it's so massive mm -hmm. on such massive scale that everyone's doing that it's for me like it must be the culture of thing okay. it's it's, right. it's not so, i don't really believe that they do that because we are tourists okay. they do that because they do that for everyone and that's what we were observing in restaurants for example yes, the uh, what's your name uh, my name is brent where you come from um i come from england but i'm from america originally um, so you feel comfortable? I, yeah, I felt very comfortable since I've been here. Uh, Safe? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so what, what's the different? What, what makes it different with your country? Uh, for my country? Yeah. You know, it's normal, right, to feel safe? Oh, uh, I suppose so. Well, well for example, uh, on a train in England, I probably wouldn't um, leave my computer at my seat if I go to uh, you know, somewhere else mm -hmm. in the train car. Whereas here, I felt entirely uh, normal doing that. I, I felt like nothing was going to happen to it. Okay. It was something that I didn't even have to worry about. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I typically don't worry about, say, walking around the city at night, but especially here, I don't. <laughs> What's your name? Chen uh, Mingxia. Yeah, Kasi. Kasi. Where do you come from? China. China. What makes you come here? Um, just for visit, we are graduates from the college, so okay. coming for travel. Yeah. Okay, what makes you dress up like this today? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, because uh, we are going to the Asakusa mm -hmm. and many people dress like this and we want to feel this culture and mm -hmm. yes. How you feel about that? That's wonderful. Wonderful, right? Wonderful. Yeah, because you guys look so wonderful, you know? Yes. They look lovely. That's why I asked Thank you. you, are you Japanese? <laughs> what do you think about Japan? Japan mm. culture? What makes you interested? Uh, complicated. <laughs> we is, are coming is, from here because we love the Japanese animation. 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 Uh, animation. Okay. okay. Animation. So we come here to see the culture. <laughs> did you find did you find something when you watch animation and animation. you come here? Is the yes. same? Yes, I think it's the same. The people is kind and the street is clean. Uh -huh. yeah. You want to see something change in Japan or just... <laughs> I didn't think of anything. Uh, you didn't think of anything? So now, uh, Hasan. Yes. Uh, our script is done. <laughs> okay. Uh, in front of 10,000 viewers, I hope we can attract 10,000 viewers this time also. i like to test your cross-cultural sensitivity, okay? Yes. How skillful you are yes. working in Japan. I'll show you some photos, my viewers. Some of you may be familiar, some, not, some may not. Okay, how? Hasan, what do you see here? I see a lady who does not look at the picture. I mean, like she looks the other way. It looks the other way? But basically, I see a lady. Have you seen this first time or a few times? It's my first time. Oh, first time, good. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do you see one more face? One more face. One more face? Yeah. A lady looking the side way, right? Beautiful yes. uh, side face of the lady. Uh, okay, tell us what do you see? <laughs> huh? Oh, but I see okay. it's not a face of human, but. Okay, tell us what it is. I see it's a it's a lion trying oh. to grab the head of the lady. <laughs> lion trying to grab the head of a lady. Okay, yeah. you're the first person who said that. Oh, 
usually okay that's interesting your sensitivity needs more training <laughs> yes <laughs> i think also. so okay uh my viewers i think this is a young beautiful lady yes but don't know if you're beautiful or not because yeah side. it's on the side <laughs> way yeah. and then here is a, a chin right yes yeah? and then the eye lid oh, side okay. Right? okay so the hair the some yeah. ornament and the fur right yes. now another face is uh left eye of an old lady scary lady this is a long nose this is a far uh, long nose uh left eye and the mouth uh, mouth this is a far uh, okay. far like a hijab uh, of a muslim okay. lady the far yeah looking to this side yes do you see both yeah yeah now now yeah. i see both yeah why yeah, did you see the young lady first okay you know some men only see young lady oh, I <laughs> many see. men because they want to see a beautiful lady yes they don't want to see a sorry old ladies oh. <laughs> okay that's interesting yes yeah? can now switch your vision oh uh, be because uh, because like from my from from mm. my mm. viewpoint like mm. it does look very clear like the old ladies ah. uh, but now but now it's no, getting you, you clearer can, you can switch yes. your views eh? perception yes, right? yes. that you're becoming global in yes. perceptions be able to call the switch yes all right another test i have a question yeah, like ahead. there are only two perceptions oh. i mean like original perceptions mm. like those two ladies that you yeah, yeah. talk about yeah but I still think, like, oh, I mean, like in okay. my case, like okay. I still think the, the lion? most eye-catching mm -hmm. is the head of the lion. Oh. Um, I mean, like it depends oh. on oh. person. Yes, that, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Where is the mouth of the lion? Because um, where, where, where is the mouth of the lion? Show us. Because. No, because show us. Where? I think this is the mouth. The mouth, because he's oh. trying his best to grab oh. the head. Maybe this is very unique head, thinking. Head of a woman. Head of a woman. Oh, the head is inside the mouth already. Yes, that's oh, why I that's see. why he's trying his best okay. to open his mouth. Okay, I think we need uh, argument. I, I cannot see the lion. <laughs> okay, this is diversity confusion. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Now this one, Hassan and my viewers. Okay, my question. Okay, you, you look at this first. You look at the photo first, yeah? Just yes. naturally, as if you're walking outside the studio. What was your feeling, emotions, when you're watching this uh, photo? No, I no feel, analysis, just yes. emotions. I feel a sense of peace. Peaceful, okay. In this okay. picture, yes. Oh. Why peaceful? Because it reminds me of taking a walk in ah. a park, and ah. I can sit down. Ah in a bench and oh, just okay. watch a day pass You're by. You're speaking like a Japanese person in the park. <laughs> okay, actually I, I showed this photo, same photo, to uh, foreign interns oh. uh, before they start working with a Japanese company. Uh, and he happens to be from Vietnam. Oh, this is I true. see. He said, I feel very hot. Wow. Sweating hot. Wow. Well, everyone asked him, why you feel hot? Because yes. the color, he said, is red. Mm. Reddish to him is reminds him of a hot summer, a hot weather in Vietnam. Oh, I see. Okay, so even the weather or emotions is affected by our cultural environment. Could be, okay. Interesting. So we want to need to ask, how are you? How do you feel? In order to deeply connect. Okay. The other day I went to Mumbai, India, yes. and made a speech. And there was a keynote speaker on the stage, he asked all the audience, or a few hundred, uh, do you have a wristwatch with mm. Roman uh, numericals, Roman numbers? Yes. Okay? I or V, yeah? Yes. And a few participants happened to have that, that watch. So the speaker took away the watch and asked the, all the participants, okay, can you ask, can you guess, yeah? Your, your, your answer I or V, all right? Yes. I ask you, the watch with a new a Roman, Roman uh, alphabetic numbers. Uh, one o'clock, you say one I or like that. One o'clock. One I. Two o'clock. Two. Eyes. I. Mm. Two eyes. Two eyes. Okay, okay. Three o'clock. Three eyes. Uh, four o'clock. 
I V. Then five o'clock. V. Look at the four o'clock. Oh, I see. There are four eyes. Yeah. You think it's a class because it's a classic watch, but look at the Seiko modern watch also, same four mm. eyes. You know, so one of the ladies in the audience in Mumbai, she was given her wristwatch by her husband on a wedding anniversary 20 years ago. Yes. So she's been watching her watch, looking at the watch, maybe 10 million, I mean, 1 million times during the yes. 20 years. Yes. And she had thought until that moment, the four o'clock is IV, yes. but actually four eyes. Oh, so she, she kept saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my yes. God. She kept saying, oh my, to me it's also my own OMG. <laughs> yes. You didn't notice that, right? Yes, okay. I have never noticed okay, that Okay, so one. my viewers, I'll ask you, <laughs> if, after you watch this show, you go out to a boutique shop, a watch and whatever, and then look for watch of a numerical, a Roman, Roman uh, new, numericals. Yeah? Then you'll be surprised. Well, you are still uh, doubtful because it's a special watch. No, necessarily. Just go to any European country or anywhere, mm. even a street clock tower, usually follow this rule. I okay? see. Okay, is that point? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah? <laughs> it's very interesting. interesting something yeah? I have never experienced. Yeah. Oh, that's why I need to go back. My point here is never assume anything but differences, yes. meaning our perception could be different from the, the reality. Yes. Our upbringing, cultural uh, stereotypes determine your, even the perceptions, even after one million times. So, another point is perception is selective. selective. If you're looking forward to meeting a young lady, you want to see, you only see a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, you know. That's that's very uh, revealing. Perception is selective. Okay, so today was interesting, and uh, I tested your <laughs> cultural sensitivity. <laughs> so, how, uh, what did you find today? Uh, I find today's program content very interesting mm -hmm. because I could learn, of course, like as every I mean, like mm -hmm. as in every other mm -hmm. programs. Mm -hmm. I could learn new things about the watch. Yes, I should take a look at my watch as well. <laughs> and, yes, yes. Please and, do. Yes, yeah. and the second thing that I find very, very interesting and mm -hmm. useful is mm -hmm. uh, about the uh, complete picture of the strong point as well as uh, bad points about mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. a diverse team. Okay, that's very good. I hope it's useful for you too. Um, so, the, may I suggest that the Japanese, and including always myself, need to learn to see things from a much wider uh, perspective and not assume we have, we have a full capacity to navigate Buka world. It could be a bit small or monocultural Buka uh, uh, perception. And we also need to learn to explain ambiguous things because nothing wrong about being ambiguous, but in a logical way. Otherwise, other people don't get us. Yes. And um, so, and then we want to apply the, uh, the approaches of uh, the Mandela approach to life in a logical way, so we can learn to navigate a global book uh, world. Then someone who knows might come out and say, hey, I like that, I want to work for you. Okay, so that's Japan spirit. Thank you for watching our program, and please do look forward to our next episode. Until next time, bye-bye.